Welcome to our channel. Today, we will talk about the majestic Jupiter, but first, if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel to stay tuned and leave a like to support us. Jupiter is a colossal world that scientists believe can help us better understand the origin of the solar system. Seen as a wandering star by ancient civilizations, it wasn't until 1610 that Jupiter could be observed in detail, when Galileo first peered through a small telescope and discovered the largest moons of the gas giant. In more recent times, continuing Galileo's legacy, nine robotic probes have visited the gas planet, two of which have entered orbit, allowing us to study its complex and dramatic atmosphere like never before. Thanks to these ambitious missions, scientists have made tremendous strides in understanding this colossal world, but Jupiter still holds many mysteries, such as what lies beneath its magnificent fabric of swirling clouds and, even deeper, what lies at its core. Because Jupiter is so large, scientists know it has had an enormous influence in the history of the solar system, and therefore, to fully understand our planet, we must first understand how the King of Planets was formed. To do this, NASA launched Juno, a spacecraft that successfully entered orbit around the planet in July 2016 and was the first to study the mysterious and cloud-covered interior of the gas giant, among many other things. The entire planet is unimaginably large. If Earth were the size of a grape, for example, Jupiter would be as large as a basketball. Inside Jupiter, the deeper you go into the atmosphere, the more it is compressed, increasing pressure and temperature as you approach the core all necessary to create a truly bizarre environment. Even its interior can be divided into layers. However, the transition between each layer is extremely gradual, and the distances between one transition and another are enormous. The outer part of the planet, or the familiar stripes and swirls that make Jupiter so recognizable, are thick clouds of ammonia and water floating in a translucent atmosphere of hydrogen and helium. These dense clouds obscure the interior of Jupiter and hide its true structure. But Juno was equipped with a powerful array of scientific instruments that have measured and investigated the planet, helping scientists understand what is happening inside under the dense and chaotic cloudy atmosphere that stretches for hundreds of miles. The pressure and temperature gradually increase until the hydrogen gas that dominates most of the atmosphere slowly compresses into a liquid, creating the largest ocean in the solar system. But remember, this is not an ocean of flowing water, but rather an ocean of hydrogen. On Earth, most elements exist in one of three common states. Solid, liquid, and gas. And the form of an element depends on external factors such as pressure and temperature. Gaseous hydrogen on Earth can be artificially compressed and cooled to become a liquid. But inside Jupiter, this process occurs naturally under immense pressures, possibly 500,000 times the atmospheric pressure at sea level on Earth, and extreme temperatures, possibly 17,000 degrees Celsius or 30,100 degrees Fahrenheit. You might imagine sinking into an ever-thicker fog that becomes increasingly humid as you descend until you finally find yourself swimming in a liquid. The massive ocean inside Jupiter becomes even stranger. However, the deeper you go because, at depths perhaps halfway to the center of the planet, the liquid hydrogen begins to behave more like a liquid metal. This extraordinary phenomenon is caused by the ever-increasing pressure at this depth, which is millions of times the atmospheric pressure at sea level on Earth, compressing the liquid hydrogen atoms so tightly that their electrons are freed. These electrons can then flow through the liquid, generating an electric current that, together with Jupiter's rapid rotation, possibly explains why the gas giant has such a powerful magnetic field. Under this immense pressure, the temperature also increases to reach 10,000 degrees Celsius or 18,000 degrees Fahrenheit. Called liquid metallic hydrogen, this strange ocean probably fills most of the interior of Jupiter, tightly surrounding its mysterious core. A core that exists under enormous atmospheric pressure, estimated at about 100 million times the atmospheric pressure at sea level on Earth. After years of measurements and investigations on Jupiter, Juno has discovered something surprising about the core of the gas giant, something unexpected. Before the revolutionary data sent to Earth, scientists thought that at the center there was a compact and dense object, as large as Earth, composed of heavy elements such as siliceous rock and iron. It is believed that gas giants originally form as rocky or icy bodies that accumulate their thick atmospheres over time. And this may still be the case for Jupiter. 
but Juno has discovered that its core is diluted or diffused, without sharp boundaries, and mixed in the liquid metallic hydrogen that surrounds it. This blurry core suggests that Jupiter had a major frontal impact with another planet in the early times of its history, when the solar system was young and violent, billions of years ago. Computer simulations show scientists that a collision with a rocky protoplanet, about 10 times larger than Earth, with a dense core rich in heavy elements, could have created enough energy to disperse and dilute Jupiter's core for billions of years. However, scientists still do not know enough about the interiors of Saturn, Uranus, or Neptune to say whether Jupiter's core is solid or if this giant impact theory is correct. Beneath the magnificent clouds of Jupiter, it is clear and unimaginably strange that there exists an environment that is hot, violent, and crushing, and that holds tightly a secret that still baffles scientists today. For now, the bizarre core of Jupiter must remain a mystery, but it is a mystery that is slowly being unraveled.